Hello everybody and welcome back to Games with Terry. I really want to get a, a, a title card for this. Hmm. Cause I feel like I feel like it deserves one now. We've been through multiple. Instead of just using Clippers United. Yeah. The the Clippers United thing I think really kinda came into focus when I lost my YouTube account temporarily. Yeah. And that that was all that the players saw uh, all the viewers saw for like 40 solid minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just me and six uh, talking to each other trying to pass the time until you fixed it. Yeah. I I'll 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 talk to Talik see if he'd be interested. Maybe get a, a little logo for the corner of the screen like we have with Quippers. I really I really like the the logo that Talik made for Quippers. I think it turned out really well. Yeah. I mean, is that, I mean, I know one of the ones he did, everyone thought looked like a butthole in it and sort of laughed at it, but, um, no, I mean, I, I like Talek. I like his art. <laughs> I, I, just, I, think it's funny. I think it's funny that, like, the, the one thing I remember is everyone thought one of his, uh, his that, splash screens looked like a butthole. That was the first one he made. I felt like dog shit because he he obviously. I mean, the thing is, is that I got I got fan art for my show. Yeah. Because that's basically what it was. It was fan art, yeah. and it, somebody took the time to make that for me for free without even asking. And then I'm yeah. like, that's great, that's amazing. And then I put it on the show and everyone's like, uh, butthole. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, um, come on. No, nah, but I think um, if you're going to be an artist, you do need to... I know, you, you need to be a... You need to take a little bit of criticism, but it's not like I paid for it and it's not like... No, it, and, and I think it, it would have been different if you were the one saying it. If you put it on the screen and then made fun of it, that would be, uh, like, unacceptable. I, I understand but, the logistics of it, but it's still it's still pretty harsh. It's it's pretty harsh no, no, criticism no, no, to I'm, say that I'm it looks saying, like a... If, if you put it on the screen specifically to make fun of it, I would have said that's unacceptable. Yeah. You put it on the screen because you got uh, fan art and you wanted to share it. Other people's reaction is outside your control. And I didn't think it looked that much like a butthole. Uh... <laughs> No, I mean, I didn't either, but I, that, that's the thing I remember is that that was like the running joke. Yeah. And, and Talek took it very well. He, he's well, he's good. a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, let, let, let's get back to the game, shall we? Yes, let's see if we can remember what we were doing. I don't know, it's been like freaking forever. Okay, we have yeah. the, the threatening letter... We have this, what is it? Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Okay. Okay. We got a hand. I wonder how that soldier's getting by without this arm. Okay. So that's basically what we got. Let's talk to hmm. what's your name? Messages for me? Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Okay, what we got here? Memo to all agents, priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, all agents are ordered to avoid travel in unlit areas until further notice. Nah. Memo yeah. to all agents, oh. priority urgent. In light of the recent disappearances, if... all agents are ordered. I think this is something I should keep to myself. Hmm. Okay. What do we got over here? Hey. Eva finally got that radio working. That would probably get me court-martialed. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, the, just testing the equipment, sir. So, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. Yeah. Is, I have no memory of, like, why someone got sprouted, what we're doing in this room. Like, I don't remember anything that led up to this. Well, point. I think... I think that we should all collectively blame Frosted Glass for getting yes. back on the air. I agree. If if not for him, then we would still be we we wouldn't have totally forgotten about this game. A 
I'll bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Huh? I wonder if this is little Manny. Come here, little Manny. Ow! Hey, must be <laughs> little Mitchy. Who's the plan? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. the florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sprout tell for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. Bet if I could get that plant lover out of there, I could talk him into making a gun for me. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. Nothing by flowers. Uh, nothing but flowers. Incidentally, is a fantastic Talking head song. High <laughs> tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. It's attached pretty well. Hector, I almost have that new bouquet of tulips ready for you. Listen to me once and for all, Bowsley. You are not a florist. You are a manufacturer of weapons. But I. Okay. It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. The rest of him has gone to seed already. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector. And a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. I wonder what happens. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Ah. Worth a shot. Maybe this. Would you like a bone, little guy? <laughs> Not one of mine. <laughs> I think you should be able to shake hands with danger <laughs> when you uh, <laughs> offer the, the skeleton hand. Go down there. Ooh, never mind. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. Not picking yeah. that up. Hello down there. Everyone's favorite glottis. Okay, fine. We'll talk to we'll talk to Glottis. Oh. No, we can't talk to Glottis. Hey, thank God for small miracles. Yeah, the game shows mercy. Okay. Oh, just just run there, Manny. Mhm. Mm How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters again? Okay, I don't know what's down here, but I have issues with it. Can anyone hear me besides the scary monster? Dang. Sleep so a thing. Close your big clay blind eyes. Go to sleep so a thing. <laughs> okay. So why would they let us climb partially up the ladder? Hmm. Questions to be answered later.
I'd laugh if the answer is they just stopped caring by this point. It's not like Johnny Thunderlets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking... Of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double-end ticket, I'm out of here. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. Hector Lamont's. the dressing room we got all the thunder boys we need thunder boys no autographs yes i am yes i am that's too bad because we just got the last two parts maybe next season <laughs> <laughs> what i think they might be missing dialogue yeah because that did not make sense no, that didn't make sense. I've got to figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. I would say you probably need to get a disguise from those two people up at the top. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do like something to them so that they like. Yeah. So like knock one them. of them out or whatever the heck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Something. A little, a little something. The uh, frosted glass joining us in chat. Hey, frosted. How are you doing? Mmm. Show business coffee. Oh, there can't See be too over. much in here. I'd better save uh, it. Can you just take the coffee? Let's see. Can we take the coffee? Oh, we can. Okay. Oh, coffee. Great. Time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black, and keep it coming, all right? Okay. Okay. So, have, so that happened. So that's the mechanic that we can do do with those two, which means that we have to do something to the coffee. Yes. We can't use the nitroglycerin. I think that would be disrespectful. A little bit. Very possible. Uh, we also have Mike R joining us. Hey, I hope that you're having a lovely evening. Oh, I never properly introduced Terry. Uh, Terry, can you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? I don't have diarrhea. That is exceptional, sir. <laughs> God, I hope that there's somebody with a really annoying voice that we can listen to for the rest of this game. Yeah, I know I'm nothing to sneeze at either. But... Okay. Nothing Lisa as well. Lots of people in chat. Hi, Lisa. Hey, it's it's pretty uh. It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty busy tonight. Yeah. 
people must be really eager to see the end of Grim Fandango. Well, they just got this mixed up with the corner and are wondering where Frosted and Moon are. Yeah. Who's to say? Nothing else in there besides that agent's photo. Okay, we got a thing here. Do we have anything else in this room? I don't... What, what the heck is this thing, anyway? I don't know. It might just be a fancy light. I don't know. And this over here... It's the room with the monster thing. Yeah. Frosted says, are we still trying to join the Union? That was a while ago. Yeah, the, the Union's dead. And we killed it. Thank God. <laughs> We, we got the, the union leader arrested. That's right, Even though we did. he had an excellent name. He had the best name in the entire game that he got to figure out some way to disguise his pretty face before I hit the streets. What was his name again? Terry. Ah. It's okay. Um, it must be okay. I mean, I, I, I put it in the show title. Yeah. Is that a, a ladder next to, like, behind them? Is it, like, can you go upstairs or, like, up a ladder? Uh, I think that's a show prop, like, uh... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, 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 not the one that you had your mouse over, the one, like... Like, behind, oh. yeah, behind his head. Well, I'll be. I did not notice. This lever is attached to the fake snow supply. Well, that did nothing. It's a handheld grinder. Ah. It's a grinder. What do we have to grind? So if you need a gay lover, that's that's your best bet. There you go. What's this? This snowmaker is huge. It's huge. Not much use without the grinder. Mm hmm Okay. So we have a grinder and a snowmaker, so something goes into the grinder to produce snow made of that thing. Mm. Which I realize sounds really obvious when I say it out loud, but you know. Yeah. Wow, um. from up here, everybody looks like ants. My ants in particular. They wore so much makeup. Hey, Thunderboys, who said that? People call out your name all the time when you're famous. You get used to it. Such modesty. Uh, uh, Frosted has a recommendation for a game we can play. He says, um... Dark Seed 2, point and click horror starring an insufferable lead protagonist and art by supply. That that sounds like a wonderful idea, Frosted. We should play <laughs> more games that Frosted recommends so that nobody will be happy. <laughs> um Okay, let's see what happens when we put uh too hot for my pockets, thank you. Okay, let, let's put it back. Can we put the coffee in the grinder? Did that do anything? I don't know. Oh. I gotta say, the infant... The inventory system is so stupid in this uh, in this game. Yeah. I wonder. Having to manually click every single item is like so stupid. Yeah. What are you thinking? I wonder if I can put the bone inside the grinder. Okay, that makes sense.
think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. But I, I suppose it, it'll be white. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So did that fall in the coffee or something? Like, what was the point of the, the shaving? Oh, and Frosted says that uh, Darkseid 2, the game he was talking about before, has uh, the most hilarious moment he's seen in any adventure game. So, he seems to really uh, like this one. Little too hot for my pockets, thank you. Okay, so you can take this up. This coffee's already ground. I think um, before you do that, just pour it on their head, see if it'll let you, just because it'll be fun. <laughs> it lets you do it, nice. Didn't I? You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you on. That's awesome. Wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. Get. That's awesome. <laughs> Now you can probably go in the room to the right now because the whole reason she kicked you out was hey, they already kid, had. This is your lucky day. Yeah. We got an opening, and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. <laughs> <laughs> sit on down. We got to start your makeup. Now don't go too far. You never know what time is showtime around here. Well, I'd say that counts as a disguise, if you ask yeah. me. You know what? This also counts as a good moment to save the game. What, you don't want to lose all your progress for the, what, fourth time? It, 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 it kind of sucks that that chapter was so buggy that now it's just like, fuck it, save, all the time. Yeah. Um, and Frosted is also suggesting the I have no mouth and I must scream uh, adventure game. Believe it or not, I actually own that. So do I. Hi, Calibio. I can't remember the last time I had access to a men's room. That being said, while I've never read the story, uh, I do know how the story ends and I'd rather not kill myself tonight, thank you. Yeah, um, I, have read, I have read the story. Um, it's, it's pretty short, actually. It's, it's a lot shorter than I was expecting. Yeah. Going up? This elevator goes up straight to the penthouse suite of Hector Lamans. Mr. Lamans, he only do the business with the very select elite clientele. Well, I'm a famous actor, didn't you know? <laughs> Will you do business no with this guy? An agent of the LSA. Oh. Something strange is going on under that raincoat. Hey. Yeah. What's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. He's playing the slot machines. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself, and I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira! Can you crack any machine? Oh.
Buenos días. Back off, sleaze ball, or my husband here will bust your jaw. Hola. Hmm. No drinks for me, thanks. Ha. <laughs> Hey, he's work without money. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. Hey, oh, you're kidding me. It only pays off if you bet? That's not fair. He won't let me go out. I think it might be to the left. You, you go where the guy is, yes. And then you go to the side to where the bathroom is. I'm okay for now. There it is. You know what I think you should do? You know how you could pick up the, the grinder that you had the, the skeleton hand in? Yep. I think you should pick it up so it's actually in your inventory rather than just sitting up in the... the that rafters. is a great idea, Terry. Because I don't know what it's for, but it's obviously not for sprinkling on the, on the floor. Frosted would like to know what our goal is. Uh, to find some chick. We already found the chick, Frosted. We did, we did. Uh, so I believe our goal is to kill Hector Le Mans, who is like the, the evil bad guy who was stealing people's tickets for the um, Number 9 uh, Express and selling them to people who didn't deserve them. Is it showtime yet? Ah, Johnny Thunder still hasn't rolled in yet. You know these prima donna crooners. Hey, you're talking about Johnny Thunder. Sorry. <sighs> Wonder, can I carry the coffee anywhere? Probably that, not. I don't see any place to serve coffee here. Yeah. Ah. Do, do you drink coffee, Terry? No, no, I drink tea. Let us know in the chat if you ever drink coffee. If you are one of the many people who drinks coffee. Like, pretty much. Uh, coffee tastes awful. I really don't like it. I, I, I don't care for coffee either. I'm okay for now. Okay, so we got... A woman, um, the the guy, the sleaze ball from Act Two. And what's his name? Charlie something, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder what happens if we show this guy's picture to him. Oh, there you go. Good idea. That's no way to treat an agent of the LSA. Now what happens if we show his arm to him? I'm just curious. Oh, because it's in the grinder, that's all it does. Okay. Mechie, it's me. Danny? That's some uh, costume. Here. Oh, that is get Mechie. Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Why do you want to get him into a sheet? I told him there was a big toga party at the Casino Romano, but he had to wear this sheet to get in. After he changed it... Mmm, you're trickier than I thought. Hey, <laughs> is that you, young lady? I'll get you. Chance I get. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, he... No room for that. 
you talk to the other guy, maybe, like, it doesn't seem like a lot of moving parts here, so... Yeah. Be patient, my kitten. I'll escort you to your party just as soon as my system pays off here. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so while while the sheik is on his head, you talk to the other guy because he can rig the machine. <laughs> and Frosty says, There's "I think he got Toga party in this clan rally." One with the sucker planted in front. Tell me when it gives up, and I'll make a cough cold change. Hey, come on, you see? The party's moving on to the Casino Romano. Orale. I'm not leaving until this fat lady sings. No one armed bandit can outsmart Chowchilla Charlie. There it is. I, I know this guy. Something. He can play the slots for days. He said as soon as the machine pays off, he'll come with me. See ya. Not again. Now, uh, quickly talk to the other guy. I'll so get you. Uh, it. Not funny. Special assignment yes. just in from Salvador. Uh, Crack that machine and leave the change right away. Yes, sir! Uh, <laughs> hey. Rafa says, see how many times you can throw the sheet on him. <laughs> uh, the answer is as many times as it takes for you to figure out the solution to the problem. I did it. My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one from me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. He ain't getting laid. No. No chance. in the shoulders but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog <laughs> okay so I think this is done I'm not going up there unarmed okay so we can't go up there unarmed I'm not putting those clothes back on these It says the sheet is the equivalent of the tiny net in Kung Pao. <laughs> I have not seen that movie, but... Y Terry, you would love that movie. Kung Pao <laughs> Enter the Fist. It is... It is awesome. I, I mean, I've heard you guys talk about it a lot, so it does sound like something I would like, but I have not seen it. Okay. See what happens. I don't know. Any messages for me? No. Nope. Call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Um. All right. Have, have we done anything with Salvador, that bird? Come in, Salvador. No. There's got to be something you do with the Already bird. Got it's some. not definite reason. Already got something. You took something from the bird, maybe? I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's a carrier pigeon, like if you give it the photo or the letter or something, maybe you can deliver it to someone. 
I show him this photo, he'll fly off without anything to deliver. Okay, so you gotta give him the letter. Okay. okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Well, here goes nothing. Okay, Go let's see what this does. For la revolución. Trusted says that Kung Pao is free with ads on YouTube, so I might have to look into that. Nice. I'm coming to sprout to myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it. I knew he was out to get me the whole time. Mm -hmm. You'll never find my secret out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another floor. That, that, that was exciting. Works. That worked remarkably well. Oh, we have a car now. Give me that. Okay. Wait, what is that? This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. Oh. Huh. Okay. I mean, try using it, I suppose, see if you can do anything with it. If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. Let's see what happens if we use, uh, let's try the nitroglycerin. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Hmm. Uh, now let's try the this. The grinder? One. Yeah. No. <sighs> the flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. Huh? I saw Bowsley run down here. Where did he go? Are you gonna? Well, without something really helpful. Bowsley's probably in that maze. Well, without something really helpful. You need the car, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking that. for it. No use oh, for it. I guess not. Not so high. Watch the chrome. Not so high. This is annoying. No use for it. 
Maybe, maybe now that he's high, you can get more out of the the grinder because like that seems to work. And... If I touch that stuff, I'd end up with morning glory mittens. Looks like Bowsley broke a canister of Sproutella when he landed. I hope he didn't drip any on himself. Hmm. So, I can't go down that road without something useful. And for whatever reason, I can't drive the car, which I would think would be very useful. You know what I think it might be? I think you might need to make an actual you trail know, with, the, a with the like grinder, so like a alive, trail leading to the tunnel. Because then he can like use the, the grinder as the very useful thing to navigate the tunnel. Well, th that would be my first thought, but I don't know how to use it without an object. Uh, can you just click that little thing above the suit? Okay. I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Oh, okay. Oh, now hey, you go to make him spring gloves. Yeah. That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us. That is the best looking alligator I've ever seen. That is entirely convenient. has joined us in chat to say that King Fandango is Mui Kurita. Okay, so... Can you get off the car and onto that ledge, like the walkway to the right? So... Oh, yep. Because, like, that seems like the obvious thing, because, like, there's the ladder behind the alligator. So, get around it that way. There. And Frosty says, so are you just trying to get glotto, uh, glotto, not glotto, uh, eaten? Yes, yes, that, that would be ideal, if you could get rid of that annoying piece of shit. This remote control works the bone wagon suspension. Um. Hey! Okay, so Glottis, you stay there. Yeah, no. no. Just no. No. I'm guessing you just opened the door. Hector? Hector, is that you? Listen, Bowsley, I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, Bowsley, what's that? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Get back! Put your hands over your head! Put your head in your hands! Put your head in your lap! Hector, is that you? No. You better back off, He's man. Normal. That's the most gruesome window display I mean it. I've I'm ever not seen. Feeling for Rosie. I'm not touching any of That's these human remains. That's a gruesome remains. display. I not touched this human remains. At least he's got Save. some of the bodies on I ice. I mean it. I'm not feeling for Rosie. At least he's got Bobby's some of the ice. bodies. Not picking that up. I'm having. I feel. I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna change around here. <laughs> Yeah, man. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? And the Hello, says, is that so Whatever. 
to which I will say, look, I could plants I could forgive monal ban, but Lotto is over the line. You think plants are dead? Judging by the emblem, these cases are full of Sproutella. Yeah, the good stuff too. None of that slow acting fern food that I left for Hector. Fern food! Things are gonna change around here! Thank you. This guy needs to shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? I love plants. Is that so wrong? I think you plants love them a little beautiful. too much, if you know what I mean. You people! You mm -hmm. plants are dead! Plants are life! You all! You are all dead! There can't be too What's much that? in here. I What's that weird thing over the door? It looks like a... There can't be if too people much were in here. plants, I better save the world would be a better yeah. place! There can't be too much in here. I better save I it. How, how do you notice the these things? Can't reach. Can't reach. What is it? I've got it enough juice like right here to turn the world the wall. green. Why? Why is there a big ball of tape screwed to the wall? The wall. Yeah, man. That doesn't make sense. Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? A big ball of tape screwed to the wall. I love Is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful. You people. You think plants are dead? Plants are life! Hey! Do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! Do get out of here right now or I'll let you have it! I'll... That was weird. Oh, six, if you want in, uh, please let me know. Uh, uh, I'm looking for something in a nine millimeter. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. That was easy. There you go. Would you like some baby's breath to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now. I think it would have been funny if the alligator was still stuck under the wheels while you were driving off. Huh. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Frosty says, what an eccentric performance. I don't get what's that reference to. I'm not sure, but it's just... It sounds like a quote, and it's just... Amusing. It sounds, it sounds like a Monty Python thing is like, what a, what an attempt performance. What a strange person. Yes. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Hockey dokey. Then answer me this one simple Ah, uh, six can't be on. Okay, what are the odds in a million of Hector Lamont's slot machine paying out? It's either going to be 17 or 8, obviously. It's one of the two numbers on the screen. Well, no, it... What? What kind of question is that? Oh, sorry! <laughs> I no, guess you don't like, know Hector Lamont. There's a reason like they're showing you those Hector numbers. Lamont. There's obviously got to be one of them. Alright. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay, how many... Okay, the answer's six. The oh, most recent number is sorry. two. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamont's like... Alright. Huh. How old was Hector Lamont? Six. Oh, no, no, no. I guess you don't the answer Hector changes. Lamont's it's like, going to be the most recent Hector number. Lamont. The most recent number? What do you mean? So, like, the numbers that are there, ignore all of them. The new number that appears is the answer. So if you look at talk to him. Right. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How many live? It's what fifteen, I think, is the number that wasn't there before. Fifteen. Oh, sorry. No, okay. <laughs> I guess you I don't thought know that was... Hector Lamas like I know Hector Lamas. But yeah, there's definitely something to do with the numbers behind you. What no- oh. 
yeah, it's something to do with those numbers, but figuring out exactly what. No, I was. I just looked. It, I just looked it up because I was pretty sure I was right. So it is that. What the numbers up here? Yeah, yeah. So talk, talk to the guy. And the, the newest number on the board is the correct answer. All right, let's go, buddy. So twenty-two, I think. Is... Huh. Okay. How many stones might an Englishman say that Hector Lamont's weighs? Oh, oh it's only one number. Twenty-four. Yeah. Well. That was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Le Mans. Thank you. I'll bet Hector pauses here every day and thinks to himself, boy, I wish I could see past my gut and enjoy my expensive monogrammed floor. Looks like Celso found his wife after all. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemon's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double N tickets? This price seems much more than double. Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? Hmm. <laughs> What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. <laughs> The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls the gun on you tonight, huh? Just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. <laughs> that was easy. <clears throat> Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. Okay, now we need to find something to do in this room. Yep. I don't know who you are. And I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. 
Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver <laughs> those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I... Hey, and we got Tyr in the chat. Hey, Tyr, how are you doing? And Duck Dog. Hello to you both. Yeah. Friends now? I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the leg's pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Ha, <laughs> he's fat. What's up? I said, ha, he's fat. Ah, yeah. Um. How do I get back to where I... There. No, I have to get to that suitcase before the tickets blow away. Hmm. Okay, what do I have? Nitroglycerin... Bone thing, gun thing. What is this again? Bowsley was right. This is the good stuff. I think that's the um, sprout teller formula. Yeah. The structural support for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. Hmm. There can't be too much in here. I'd better save it. Oh, I wonder. Sprout Tella, not Spackle. <laughs> Still stronger than me. You know, uh, I think using that old gargle as a structural support for Glamour Girl here was a yeah. bad idea. The grinder interacted with Spratello earlier when you wanted to make a trail. Maybe you can do the same thing here. Well, so much for my third arm. I'm working off very vague memories of what I did when I actually played this years ago. Well, it was gonna happen eventually. Yeah. Not picking that up. I Yeah. I run. Find 
Salvador! Get in, quick! Oh, it's we're what's her name? Have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Mm. Hola, Manuel. <laughs> Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. This is true. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No. I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. I thought I told you to scat, man. I think uh, you have to go up the hill. It looks like there's a building on top of the, the hill. So, uh... Yeah, that one. Hmm. hmm. Hector supplies water to keep the flowers alive? Does he see them as a memorial or as trophies? Yeah, right. Not thirsty. Okay, so obviously you're going to do something to the water. Uh, maybe this where that thing comes into play. That could work. There can't be too much in here. I'd better see. Ah, that's a try. Um, maybe Spratella? Do you still have the Spratella? Can you put that in the water? Now let, let's see what's up here first. Sure. Not picking that up. Yeah, uh, yeah I get it. We're just... Me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. Fair <laughs> point. I guess Domino mm. was right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. This is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot bowel they ran off with all their fast-acting Sproutella. Very slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. Okay, now you need the nitroglycerin now to break you, off yeah. the um, wound. where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave. <laughs> it's quite a clever joke, Mr. Mr. One Arms. Gracias, Toto Santos. See, if it's that easy, you'd think that everyone would just carry Come nitroglycerin on, on them Shake all the time. Me, One mm. of you must be mine. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car. 
But the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. But when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you... Hey, get out of there. Farewell, my friend. What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! He's fine right where he is. Not picking that up, he truly gave his body to the cause. After I deal with Hector. I gotta run up there again? Um, look at the briefcase first. There's gotta be something to do with that. Are you gonna... Terry, come on. Yeah. Have mercy, Terry. Yeah, for a reason. Well, yeah, but I'm supposed to get it after the thing. Nothing like the real McCoy after I deal with Hector. Okay. Oh. Hey, my sight. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. Oh, that's sad. Mm -hmm. After I deal with Hector. Okay. Uh, pick up the ticket before you head up all over. Oh. Not picking that up. You can't Not pick up the ticket? That That's up. silly. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Hey, Spoonie hey. the Rebel, how are you doing? Long time no see. I mean, I suppose not that long. I mean, I talked to you occasionally. Mm -hmm. Lovely sound of traffic outside my window again. Okay, so we have a water tank. Well, the guy said his body had a key on it, so if he, if he used the ticket to find his body, there should be like a key that you can... Yeah, and you take out the... Oh, cancel. No, other way. Okay, so if I take out the ticket now. Yeah, it should do something. Seems to be attracted yeah. to something over this way. Very dramatic. He's fine right where he is. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Okay. You got the key. 
Now we got the key, and we gotta walk all the way back down this freaking hill. <laughs> and then you connect in the trunk, get the gun, and presumably shoot someone with shoot Hector with it, I guess. Select. Unlock. Ah, yes. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Then now back up the hill. Back up the hill. Frost, it says this driveway is a bitch to shovel in the winter. Probably, yeah. Well, you've never had to shovel a driveway before. No, but I can imagine it would. Well, I, I, will, I will tell you uh, from personal experience, it is a massive pain in the ass. I mean, just imagine you get up and you're freezing cold and then you have to just go deal with some shit. Hmm. I'm not getting any closer until he runs out of ammo. If he runs out of ammo, that is. Yeah. I think you, you've got to do something to the water tank. Yeah. I think that makes the most sense. But what can I do to the water tank? Um, I, I'm thinking something to do with putting oh, Spratella in water the water. To keep the oh, water. no. Wait, I... We don't have any, but we do have a scythe. I don't want to mess up my blade. Can you just shoot it? Let's see. There you go. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. Get a view of it. Come on. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna save. Yes, good idea. Shit. Frosted, so you kill the bad guy by Dutch ovening him. Yeah. You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh... Demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess what a I got shame. so wrapped up in saving people, I just assume I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. 
I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Give me, yeah, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Someone spray out this idiot. I, I don't think you can. Find a way. He, he, he needs to die. And uh, trust the, the tickets go where again? Yeah. I think it's just like Wait, the afterlife. The world. What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's going to happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. Please tell me it's a train going into a tunnel. Train going into yeah. a tunnel? <laughs> what kind of name is Japer? That is a terrible name. No one should be called Jacob. Well, at, at least, at least Manny got laid. Go, go through all this trouble, get laid. That's that's really the ultimate hero story, isn't it? No, I think it's a happy ending because he finally got rid of Gladys. There you go. No, no matter what angle you're coming from, th this is this is a happy. The, the so you, you suddenly got a lot quieter. I can hardly hear you now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you turn the volume of the game down, you turned yourself down as well. Or something. No, no, I didn't turn anything down. Maybe it could be because of the really loud <laughs> police sirens in your background. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there was a car crash earlier today, so there's probably stuff related to that. Well, all all I know is I'm I'm not skipping the end credits. I don't care if this goes on for like ten minutes. It 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 needs to run. Unfortunately, the train leads to Auschwitz. Maybe. This cannibalistic wizard is confused by hugging the deformed demon eel. Uh, yeah. Frosted says that the train leads to Auschwitz. <sighs> you, you got you got to find a second joke, Frosted. <laughs> and Duck Duck says the boo boo bus is very loud. Yes. yes. And yes, it is. Spoon says Mario did do it all for a peach. R that that's that's the that's the hero's story is that the hero goes through all this trouble and then gets laid. Goes through all the trouble and finally gets rid of the annoying car demon. Yeah. It's tale as old as time. Oh, they got another song. James Wood, almost a famous person. <laughs> Art department. I'm afraid if you're going to get to a famous person, is maybe some of the voice actors. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy the art of this game. I love the. I love Art Deco. Art Deco is hmm. awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like the the visual style of the game. I think. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's one of those. It doesn't try and be realistic, so it actually ages quite well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it was made when it was made, but I don't feel like I'm... I'm it's not a detracting... It doesn't yeah, detract yeah, yeah. from the experience. But because it's not trying to be realistic, uh, it doesn't fall into yes. the uncanny valley. Like, uh, if you try and play like the original Mortal Kombat from the 90s, that looks terrible because they were trying to be realistic and it doesn't hold up. It's, it's kind of incredible. I love there was, like this time when everyone was like the CGI is so realistic CGI is re yeah. that's that's what people say like 30 seconds before the CGI looks cheesy yeah 
Do you know what CGI looks most realistic? Real people. Real people look <laughs> most realistic. Uh, I think I think it's just hubris. I think that hubris drives people to make CGI much better than it is. Yeah, but I think um, stylized graphics are just better in general than trying for realism. Like yes. um, Mario. Like, sure, you can see that the graphics have aged, but it doesn't look anywhere near as terrible as the attempt at realism to. Uh, Tier says that Star Wars proves my, my pussy hypothesis wrong because Luke didn't get any in the end. Well, he almost did. Granted, yeah, it would have made been... for a much more unsavory story. The pussy that he almost gets, but you know, we'll, let, let, let's not let's not talk about that one. Yeah, and Frosted is saying that's why Jurassic Park had the best CGI. They only used it when they really needed to. Yeah. Yes, it, and it's why we remember Jaws as a classic, even though they had originally intended to include the shark a lot more. I mean, yeah. granted, the animatronic shark probably would have been pretty cool, but the fact that they only got to use it a little bit really added mm. to the movie a lot. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's... Oh, wow. Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. There you go. Wh wh which orchestra? The Melbourne S Sydney. Oh. Uh, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Melbourne. So uh, Australian. I'm actually uh, I'm actually playing a, a song in my community band by uh, an Australian composer named uh, what's his name Percy Granger. Now I don't know if you know about Percy Granger, but he was I do uh, not. he was uh, an an interesting character, let's say. Yeah. Uh, people basically. He he was he was kind of crazy. He was known for like playing the piano naked and in the dark. Yeah, and okay. uh, None of those. yeah, he's he's a cra he's a crazy man. And I, I was hoping you were gonna say uh, written by an Australian named uh, Gaza. No, but I I must say the the song that he wrote is fan freaking tastic. The the. That's good. Clearly a genius, clearly a genius uh, composer, but well, basically they do say there's shit. a fine line between genius and insanity, and yeah. uh, it sounds like this guy proves that. Tyr says the shark looked dopey. The shark in the last shark looked worst. Frosty says, written by Ned Kelly. Yes, Who, if who's, only. Who's Ned Kelly? He was a bush ranger. He's like one of the most famous Australian outlaws. Ah. He's kind of like the equivalent of, you know, uh, what, 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 uh, like Billy the Kid, or, you know, like one of the Wild West guys that you have. He's like our equivalent. I, I would love to learn more about Australia. I should I should read up on Australia when I visit the local library. <laughs> the motorbikes don't want to hear it. <laughs> I can learn about that big rock that that yeah, is yeah, yeah. very That's famous. Name. I really don't know why anyone cares about this rock. It's really just a big rock. <laughs> there, there's got to be a reason. Uh, Nobody just likes a big rock and makes it like a, a national symbol. I think it, I think it's got some significance to the Aborigines. I don't know what what significance that is, but who I think gives, it, it's re relevant to them. Who gives a shit about the Aborigines? The Aborigines. Oh, me, but... The Aborigines didn't invent Vegemite, damn it! No, they did not. They didn't invent Foster's beer, and they didn't invent. Crocodile Dundee, although they play All kind of, of this is true. They they do I believe play a role in Crocodile Dundee too, but you know. Probably yeah. 
I gotta watch those movies again. Those were fun movies. It is. Yeah, from a, from a better time. From a better time. When people made... When people had fun. Yeah. Okay, what? Oh, it, it just starts all over again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, so, the... Was was there anything else that you wanted to say on the topic of of Grim Fandango, Mister Terry? Um, apart from the glitchy bit that made us replay the, the the same chapter three or four times, it is a good game. It's got a lot of failings: the control system, the inventory system. But I like the story. I like the art style. It, it's it's fairly entertaining. Uh, like the jokes. Mm. Overall, it's a good game. It's just got some some sticking points that I'm not too fond of. I I would suggest it was probably issues with the remastering. Um, other than that, um, I, I, the the issues that I have with the the inventory and the controls were in the original. Oh yes, those those were in the original game. It was probably it was probably more difficult to navigate in the original game. I would take a guess because usually that's yes, what... yes. I, I think the remastered version did improve the controls a bit. Yeah, because usually those are the things that get ironed out in this sort of thing. Mm. Is like the big, the big janky, uh, the the Tomb Raider camera problem. Let's call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, fuck Tim Schafer for being a, a, a communist. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, I could I could have lived without the communist bullshit. But honestly, I mean, it wasn't super intrusive. It didn't feel like it was like. It felt more like it was for aesthetic value than it was actually trying to make a serious point. Well, I, I think you've got to remember, at the time this came out, it was a lot less popular to be a communist than it is now. So this was probably as much as he could get away with and still have them release the game. Yeah, really, that's... Like if, he, if, he made, if he made this game in 2024, it would be like, hail Mao. <laughs> yeah. And, and really, I think that that's... People talk about, like, oh, the, this... the. I'm not going to go over all the bullshit because I think that our audience knows what I mean when I talk about the bullshit. Uh, the bullshit did exist in the 1990s and the 1980s. And really it's existed for a long, long time. Um, yeah. I think that it was much less prevalent. It was much more under the radar. And I think yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This, this, was, this was as openly communist as Tim Schafer could be in the 90s when this game came out. Yeah. Overall, I don't think that the bullshit detracted from the game. Uh, I think that it was... I think it was minimal enough that I it could be yeah, safely yeah, yeah. ignored. It, it, it annoyed me, not because of what it was, but because of what it tells me about the creator. It's like, you just know that if he could have done more, he would have. Yes. And that, that's what really, it's, it's one of those things where you have to make assumptions about a person's motivations behind doing something. And some yeah. people have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. I am, I have no problem assuming that this guy would have been a total piece of crap about it if he wrote this game. Oh today. yeah. Look, if, if he could, if there was a way in 1996 or whatever year this game came out, to be as communist as he could be in 2024, you know he would have. Yeah. So it goes. I like the game anyway, in spite of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's failures. a good game despite uh, despite that. It... There's really only one section of the game where you have to deal with it. Yeah. And you have to go into a... a what do you call it? Coffee house. <laughs> Yeah, 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 but pretty much uh, it's in there, but it's like not, as you say, it's not intrusive. It's just a signifier of who made this. Yeah. 
so on, on on a realistic scale, Terry, like let's say I don't know, one to ten. One being absolute dog shit, don't play this game. Ten being um, Day of the Tentacle, hmm. which I, I I assume is is the bar for the perfect adventure game. Where where would this what? Uh, probably like an eight. It, it is it is still very good, despite everything that I've complained about it. The overall game is very very good. Yeah, I I would be I would be inclined to agree with that score. And uh, oh, uh, Frosted notes that we did get to murder the coffee shop lady. Uh, I think mm-hmm. that the way the story was trying to draw her was as a hypocrite. Uh, yeah. So I don't really think that that matters all that much. Uh, but you know, yeah. Frosted says I don't understand in the scale. It isn't needlessly eleven. Uh, okay, okay so let's... on a scale of minus twenty one to one hundred and twelve, what would you rate it? Uh, on a scale on a scale of twelve to fish, Terry, where would this rank? <laughs> Butterfly. I I think it would. I think it. I disagree with that a little bit. I would rank it a uh, statue of Tutankhamun. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be so that is, uh, I mean, much, much as I liked here, that really is the most retarded scale he's come up with for the, the asshole stories. Tear, if you're out there, we love you and we care about you, or at least... But for the love of God, one to ten. One to ten. Yeah, that would make so much more sense. One being the worst, ten being the best. Good. And, uh, Old Guy Gamer, have you played any of the Indiana Jones games? I've played, uh, some, what is it, the one about Atlantis? Um, yeah. Legend of Atlantis, whatever it is. they, They have those games available. I haven't, I haven't looked into them too much yet. Did, did, I, did we talk oh, yeah, about I, yet? I, oh, sorry. No, I used to own um, was it Temple of Atlantis or Legend of whatever the, the Atlantis one. I used to own it on um, yeah. on CD back in the back in the day. That's right, and because um, I remember talking to you about that briefly. But uh, the next game we're going to be looking to play is is not what I assume was a terrible game that Frost had mentioned earlier. Uh, but instead we're going to be looking to play uh, Monkey Island 3. Yes. Which Terry informs me is the best of the series. Yep. Um, and this is one I've played about as much as I've played Day of the Tentacles, so I basically have the entire game memorized, so if you get stuck, it will be very easy for me to get you on stuff. I, I, for one, am very excited because Terry has hyped this up a lot, and if this isn't one of the greatest games I've ever played, I'm going to be immeasurably disappointed, and it will ruin uh, everything. Um, for, for context, I would put it on par, but slightly less good than Day of the Tentacle, because it doesn't have time travel. But I, I, I'd still put it on like a similar scale of... Um, like, I would still call it a 10 out of 10, but it's, like, a lower 10 than Day of the Tentacle. Uh, Frosted recommends Shadow of the Comet, old Lovecraftian point-and-click. The thing that I'm trying to go for is that it's it's difficult to run these games uh, sometimes because they're so... The, a lot of the, the classic point-and-click adventure games are very old. And they're they're going to need to run through OBS. And what's more, it would be really convenient if I could uh, window them at some capacity because it means that I could have the game open in one half of the screen and the chat open in the other half. Um, Um, It it may be too late to to be a factor, but I would recommend buying the games on GOG instead of Steam if uh, compatibility of any kind is going to be an issue, like... uh, running windowed mode or working with OBS. GOG has put in a lot of work to actually make sure the games run in modern systems. Steam has not. Yeah, that that is one thing. Um, 
I, I, I do want to try and buy more of the older games on GOG because I have heard I definitely that. recommend it. Yeah. So we'll see how that works and hopefully and they'll have a way process to says, I'm guessing Day of the Tentacle is Japanese. <laughs> no. I'm, that would be a very different game. Uh, I, I think I'm turning Japanese, Terry. Yeah. I really You're giving me so. the papers. Ah. And uh, with that, I think that we're going to end off this stream. How long have we been going for? We've been, have we reached an hour and a half yet? We must have. Yeah, a little bit more than that, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say goodnight to you all out in the audience. I hope that you had fun watching this uh, this playthrough of Grim Fandango. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna miss this game because I like Manny's voice. I like the voice actor yeah, yeah, as yeah. Manny. It, I find it entertaining. And it's I, a shame you didn't have six here to translate what he was saying. Hmm. There, there. I will say there was one problem with this game. If if, if there was any, it was that there was not enough moy. There that needs to true. be more moys. Anyway. Um, Frosted is also suggesting Phantasmagoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played Phantas. I've played both Phantasmagorias. That that's a decent enough game. Hmm. And uh, with that, on that note, I think we're going to end off the game. So, uh, uh, from games with Terry, mm -hmm. I, have, I have been the the guy who you, uh, you've been James and I've been yes, Terry. I've been games. I've been the guy who channels Terry's uh, much more intelligent gameplay than me. And across from me has been uh, the mastermind of all of this, Terry Diamantis. See you later, guys. Good night, everybody. <laughs>